and now I don't know if hope there oh uh, shit there's still some gas in it so fuck man I've been Hey people and welcome back to my vlog. Today we're gonna do something different. This is the inside of my engine, of my 125cc engine for my little motocross, my pit bike. And today we're gonna clean out the carburetor because it seems to be dirty and when I floor the acceleration it sort of dies on me. So let's see what's up with that. So we're gonna need a number 10 and as you can see this is the carburetor the little carburetor for the engine and there's a curved pipe as you can see here it's attached to the intake of the engine right here with two screws one here and one on the other side so you don't want to tamper with those uh, screws you want to unscrew these ones right over here on top and on the back there are two other thingies so let's get to it anyway once you get these screws loose you're gonna unscrew them by hand and watch out on the other side to catch that little holding yeah there's one screw careful not to lose them and place them somewhere aside but before i unscrew the other one i want to deattach the acceleration cable just twist this thingy right out from here nice and easy yeah and out comes the acceleration cable yeah as you can see comes out like this and if you notice here you got a very sharp point that goes inside when you hit that throttle and pushes this thing down and gives it more air and gas and whatnot so on the other side there's a straight gap from top to bottom and on the left side there's just this little opening so remember how to place it back so now we're gonna screw this other one nice and dandy okay so i got that other screw out so now you carefully take out the carburetor gotta take this hose right here gotta take it out from the gas intake and then remember not to lose this part which comes out from behind here okay guys so this is the carburetor as you can see here this is the hose that the fuel comes into yeah we're gonna take this out and you have another one small one here down here which has a little clamp you sort of push on it pull it back and then take the hose out yeah okay so now this is kind of dirty man oh and this is the piece which comes right here like this yeah now we're gonna take this apart yeah so we're gonna loosen this screw and then pull this out gently yeah it's full of dirt man no wonder it's clogged up and this is the choke careful not to mess with the settings of the carburetor this is the um, air mixture right here and this screw should be like um, you twist it in all to the max and then twist it out like two times around and that's the perfect setting for you this is the idle rpms right here so you don't mess with these two settings and now i don't know if hope there oh uh, shit there's still some gas in it so fuck man so be ready guys to get dirty when you're cleaning out a carburetor because it's motherfucking dirty okay so now we have two screws on the bottom which we're gonna take out gently I like to unscrew them simultaneously yeah so there's one and now for the other one this one holds this uh, little hose in place be sure to have around some paper napkins anything to absorb fuel that might come out of the carburetor so would you take a look at that guys it's so fucking dirty on the bottom end all the dirt and the breeze and everything sort of lays down there and clogs up the carburetor so anyway place the carburetor upside down now this little white thingy is the floater 
which handles the flow of the gas inside and everything okay so I'm gonna go and clean this little bitch out thoroughly be right back okay so I cleaned this out as well as I could check if uh, this uh, pipe is clear you can blow on it and see if the air comes out on the other side right here the most important thing you gotta check are these two little pipes that one and this one and right under here is a little valve now we are we're gonna unscrew these little guys and see if they're clogged up let's start with this one and carefully unscrew it take it out yeah so this little guy has to be very very clean let's place that aside for now and let's take this piece out now carefully and this one has to be very clean also and even inside the carburetor it has to be very very clean for the fuel to pass through okay so now we take a piece of steel wire and uh, grab a few wires grab them around and try to push them through and it came out on the other side so this one is clear move it around and blow in it <laughs> blow through it and look through it towards the light source and you should see it clean okay once the wires through just move it around play with it wiggle it around to get all the dirt and get it loose yeah then check it out look towards the light through it yeah that one's done let's move on do the same with this one push the wire through check it out blow on it you can try different types of wires this one's thicker yeah this is a larger hole yeah we gotta push this small bar out and push it out carefully careful not to bend anything because these parts are very sensitive yeah let's place that very carefully aside okay guys so place the clean parts aside and let's take out gently the floater there's a little piece underneath if you can notice here and it should be clean uh, this part right here is very dirty we got a clean inside here here and here and even here and basically everywhere you can find well I kinda use a blower which I have for my DSLR and I find it very useful you can see the air coming out right there yeah if I blow through there you can feel it behind the air coming out yeah the air is coming out there and just clean out every passageway you can find and then maybe shine some light through the holes and see if they are very clean like so I think you can see the light yeah you can place a finger to see if the air comes out yeah so every pipe you can find just blow on them and clean them out very thoroughly I find this blower for my DSLR camera very very useful so I'm gonna go wash this out guys and then uh, clean every hole again blow on them okay guys so I cleaned everything out and placed some paper towels 
to absorb all the moisture and now I'm gonna blow everything out all the passageways to make sure all the water is gone and they're nice and clean be sure to check everything out every passageway every hole blow any remaining water out because it needs to be very clean I washed this uh, air filter out also because it was very fucking dirty okay so now let's put this floater back and everything back together in 10 seconds and remember not to over tighten the screws and tighten them simultaneously and until next time guys thanks for watching and peace yeah